Welcome back, Booksmiths. My name is Angie, and on this channel, we discuss AI-assisted writing and how to use AI technology to make your author life easier. It's almost April, which means that Camp NaNoWriMo is just around the corner. If you've never heard of National Novel Writing Month, it is a month-long writing event that happens every November. It's a competition against yourself to write a 50,000-word novel in 30 days. The magic of NaNoWriMo is the deadline, 30 days. This forces you to get out of your head, lock your inner editor in a closet, ditch perfectionism, and just write. It doesn't matter how good or bad the prose is, only the words matter. Camp NaNoWriMo, which happens in April and July every year, is an offshoot of the November event that's more laid back. You can also pick your word count goal, depending on which project or projects that you're going to work on. You don't have to write, though I find it much more fun that way. You can also edit, blog, or do other tasks for your author business. This event is coming at a perfect time for me because I'm itching to start a new project. I've been focused on building up this channel over the last two months, and my own writing has come to a complete halt. Now, I wrote with the help of AI during NaNoWriMo in November of last year for my young adult science fiction dystopian project, Shadows of Haven. I didn't complete the story because I realized that it would be a much better serial than just a regular novel. I've shared a little bit about the story in a few of my Novel Crafter videos. I used ChatGPT for all of the planning and plotting, and then I used Claude 2 with the help of Rexy and Notion to write beat by beat. With having all my characters, world, and scene briefs completed ahead of time, I was able to average about two chapters a day and reach my 50,000 word goal on day 13. And that's after I changed my story idea on the day before Halloween. For camp, I'm not sure which project that I'm going to work on yet, but I figured I would do a bunch of the work on video or streaming live in the new Discord community, the Byte Writers Guild. If you go to the Camp NaNoWriMo channel in the Discord group, you can vote on which project you'd like this evening work on. You can also share what you're working on, ask questions, and cheer everyone who's participating on. No matter which project I choose, I'll be writing a novel crafter. How much adult content is in the project will determine which model I end up using for planning. I've been reading Writing Short Romance for Pleasure and Profit by Sadie B. King and just completed Become an Unstoppable Storyteller, How to Craft Compelling Serials by Kim Boo York. So I'm having a hard time choosing between which project I want to do, whether I do short insta-love or whether I do serial. Go get your votes in and check out both of these fantastic books. One last thing before I end the video, I put together a Camp NaNoWriMo tracker in Notion that you can use to keep track of your writing sprints and your progress. Let me show you very quickly how it works. If you come down here, uh, we've got, this is your goal. And you're going to be able to come in here and click this little button here and edit your word count goal. If you're going to be writing, let's say 10,000 words, you would change this to 10,000 words right here. And then it will track here your percentage. Okay, so let's go back here. You have the ability to add a new sprint. So if you click this, and I've actually, I've added a little bit of dummy content in here just for you to be able to get a feel for what we're trying to do here. This chart is powered by Chartbase and you can actually create your own for free at Chartbase. So let me come down here, oops. And I will come down here to sprints and you can see what the database looks like. Whenever we add a new sprint, you need to add the date and you need to add the project and how many words that you wrote. So we'll come back to the page here, come down, we'll do a new sprint. We'll say that this was from uh, April 2nd. And then you come here, pick your project. I created one that's called test project one. You can add your own project. And then we'll say you put in uh, 1200 words and it's attached to the goal so that the goal will update over here. Okay, so if we come here and we refresh the page, we can see here that the goal has updated. Um, we can see if we're at almost 20% of the goal, almost 10,000 words. And 
think this is also updated here in the graph. Okay, and you also can add new projects uh, just by clicking this button. And let me show you what those look like. So here's just the fake test project that I created. If you want to add a book cover, you'll come up here and you'll add a cover. Um, or in this case, it would be change cover. Put the name of your project here. Your due date for this project is going to be April 30th. You can update the status of your project if you're going to use this to track multiple projects and a multiple. You can actually track other events such as NaNoWriMo or Camp NaNoWriMo that's coming up in July. Uh, you can ignore all of these sprints. It's just pulling them in here so that it can count the number of words and then it, it outputs the number of words over here. Okay, and I think that is about it. If you want to delete the, the content that I've added, I wouldn't do it here. I'd actually do that on sprints. So you just come in here and click all of these and hit the trash can icon and it will delete them. I just added some embeds here to just give you some something to look at, something to fill up the space. You can, after you determine which project you're going to work on, you can put information about your project here. You can put uh, your book cover, uh, pictures of your characters, anything that you want to. And then also down here, we have a Pomodoro timer for you to be able to do your sprints. Uh, make sure you do not delete the databases. Those are super duper important. And then there are links over here uh, to get to your NaNoWriMo dashboard, which is really cool. You can also, if you want to add me as a uh, friend, you can do that from there. Actually, they're called buddies, I think. And then links to the Discord as well as the YouTube chat. I will make this available for you guys to be able to duplicate and then it will be there in your your own notion and you can use it. Okay. So I think that's all for now. If you're interested in getting signed up for Camp NaNoWriMo, go ahead and head over to nanowrimo.org and add your project. Let me come back here. Right now I just have untitled and I put 60,000 words. I don't know what I'm going to write yet or how much. Go ahead and add your project. Then come join us on the Discord to write the old-fashioned way, or you can use your favorite AI technology. Again, I'm going to be using Novel Crafter. One last question before you go. For those of you that are going to be participating with us, would you like me to schedule some writing sprints or maybe some writing time where we can quietly work together in voice chat on the Discord server? Let me know if you are interested. And if there is an interest, I will set something up. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you again